Yo. Huh? It's a Lego. <laughs> Lego. <laughs> Let's hear it for Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was that? Uh-huh. Keep it coming. Hi, you guys, and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with some more Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Time to fight. I believe we're going to go to the Major Leagues. What? 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 <laughs> Reserve a match. Well, dog my cats. If it ain't the Grey Gonzales fixing for a fight, huh? <laughs> Ooh, you're gonna love this. Your next opponent is ranked 10 in the Glitz Pits, the Armored Harriers. That's right, you're darn tootin'. You're finally gonna make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go a letting us down now. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least once, okay? These fans eat that stuff up. A little grandstanding from their hero, and they go nuts. Now get in there and get them riled up, son. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Gonzales, match time. Follow me, bub. Bye, Eggums. We'll see ya. Lego my ego. <laughs> And now, today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzales. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. <laughs> First, let's get the Merciless Executioner in here, folks. The Great Gonzales. Gonzales, kick their iron tail. Don't you dare lose. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Whoo, the Great Gonzales. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Just perfect. Burp. Just perfect, thanks. <laughs> Woo, Nelly, you heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Heads, yeah. Ooh, good gravy. <laughs> Iron them out. Whoa, are those spikes legal? They are pretty big. <laughs> yo, yo, your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros, and they stink. Then he said, I bet you they just play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah. And then they said, Audi belly buttons running their family stink wads. And so on. Yep. And so on. Yep. What? How does he know that mom has an Audi? That jerk. We're going to blend you into a smoothie, pal, and then we're going to drink it. Ew. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stink wads call other people stink wads. Understood? Stink wad. Simmer down there, bro. You stink wad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. I've been saying a lot of um, concerning things. <laughs> so basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time that you have left with a functional brain. <laughs> My son's toys are going off in the background. Battle! <laughs> oh, it's the cutest. Appeal to the crowd at least once. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make the major league if we win. Get psyched, Mario. I thought she was gonna say get physical. I'm like, wow, we're just really going for it, aren't we? <laughs> Give up now. Wolf stink wads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. All right, let's start this off with what's up? Dang it! <laughs> I actually wanted to tattle first, but let's appeal, I guess. I can't remember if you have to appeal like for the entire turn and not attack for it to count, but I feel like it's messed up like that before. Dang, that's a hard hit. Even with blocking, that's a hard hit. Okay, let's go ahead and tattle. Eight. That's an iron cleft. That guy is scary. Period. Max HP is six, attack is four, and defense is unknown. What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clefts. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away might not be a bad idea at this point. But you know what? I think we we might run away. Only because I know you have to run away. But yeah, any attack is useless. <laughs> we got ourselves a winner. The Armored Harriers. <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Wow. 
What? A bath. <laughs> Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. At least I got a coin. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. <laughs> hey, check it out. Our little eggy friend is gone. What a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> I got like the, the green and red Yoshi. There's a bunch of different colors. I've gotten this one before. I think I've gotten the pink one and maybe the orange and blue one, but I think there's like a black and white, like grayish one. And I'd love to get that at some point. <laughs> Gonzales, check me out. Thanks to you, I hatch safe and sound. Thanks, man. What? You were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there. So uh, I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest, just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see, I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Ooh, what do I name him? Uh, let's go with, let's go with Lego. Like, you know, let's go, but also Lego my ego because he was an egg. So Lego, <laughs> Lego. <laughs> Hmm, Lego, huh? And then it also sounds like a Lego piece, so it's kind of cute. Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzales, let's get out there and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Lego. <laughs> Yoshi's ability, a primer. Press X to get on and off of the Yoshi. Mm. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Thank God. I could have definitely used this in the uh, Boggy Woods. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. That's very helpful. I swear, he's one of the most helpful of all of the uh, buddies that you get. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce an enemy using his ground pound move, or you can use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Ye ye. Uh, I don't know if I need to sleep, if I actually took any damage. I did not. So let's do this. Welcome to the automated reserve system. I hope it's them again that I don't have to like go back. Okay, cool, it's them again. Nice, nice. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to peel to the crowd at least once, okay? These fans eat that stuff up. A little grandstanding from their hero and they go nuts. Now get in there and get them riled up, son. I'm so excited to use my new guy. Gonzales, match time. Follow me, bub. It's also kind of embarrassing when you like lose and you have to come back after all that trash talk we just did. Bruh. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzales, and the Iron Adonis Twins. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Armored Harriers. Let me at them. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra hard bods just can't lose. Get yourselves ready to battle. It's on. My Donkey Kong. Peel to the crowd at least once. Gonzales, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stinkwad challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partners, if that's gonna help him. So we do need to appeal. So let's do that first. Just get it out the way. I like his appeal because he's like, hey. <laughs> Just gotta dodge. Try not to die. Oh my god. Oh, I might actually switch out. I actually need to switch out, but that was also like scary. <laughs> Yelp. Gulp. <laughs> yeah, oh, she spiked me right in the. I really hurt. Her iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh dang, bro. He's discovered our weak points. Hey. 
I don't think there's much I can do. So I'm actually going to use a mushroom real quick, just in case they both decide to hit me. Oh, but I only have one or 50. <laughs> Let's just hope they don't both attack me. You know what? I'm going to defend. That's probably smart. <laughs> And then he can take a second hit. Ooh, just barely. <laughs> barely. Nice, nice. We did it. Ten star point. Ooh. Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Greg Gonzalez. With this win, you made the major league. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and woogly fight. A diggity-dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places I can tell. Hooey! <laughs> Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, what was that? Uh-huh. Keep it coming. <laughs> Nice noise. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. So do I get out of this place? You received seven points. Mario's ranking rose to ten. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubber wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Oh, I guess we are leaving. I wish my partner wasn't like close to death so he's not just like hunching the whole time. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Mr. Grubba, I've bought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. Miss <laughs> Jolie, you mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. Catch me looking at my, um, special collection there. <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it none. Now, what I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Gonzales, you old so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuxes in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little slum sum for you. Go on, take it. You got 30 coins. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, something uh, else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become a champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink maybe with some frills or something. You'll look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day part. Take a powder, okay? Okay, Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. I love this sassy music. <laughs> oh, poor, uh, poor Lego. <laughs> Mm, new room, we moving on up. Finally got a piece of the pie. <laughs> this is the Major League locker room. You will use this room for this moment on. The match system isn't the same as the Minor League, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. <laughs> hey, I'm liking the new digs. It's actually clean. <laughs> What's the deal? I'm gonna kill these guys and show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Oh shoot. Oh, it scared me. Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. Hmm. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. Mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you. Ha ha ha. What a waste of time. Oh. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's belt? What the? Uh, hey, you, get too close to the rock. You might get hawked. I love how I flipped that. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock, huh? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimping no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? You just came in here looking for a fight. 
And now you telling me I ain't got no manners? Whoa, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. Yep. Well, I really push that dude's buttons, huh? Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? That dude's belt is a fake crystal star on it. Where the heck is the real one at? Ooh. Gonzales, was that your mailbox XP going off? Did you get an email from? Creepy. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Yeah, whack wasn't the word I was gonna say, but it's it's weird. <laughs>